I like that we are diving into more of the yeah. longevity talk and That's what exactly uh, right, yeah. we can do to extend our lives and make them uh, more joyful and uh, yeah. be be healthier overall. What do you feel are some of the factors that uh, play into the mix? What to watch for the most? So, um, you know, the 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 one concept that people don't get, everybody talks about genetics, right? Genetic is is just a small part of what actually makes you. Uh, and and the the way I like it actually, David Sinclair, one of the famous, actually, uh, he's he, he's my good friend, and actually he, he's in Boston. He's he's the one of the longevity experts, right? Uh, he wrote a very good book, and and you know he he what he explains there that the the genetics is the hardware, but epigenetics, how you use the genetic information, which is influenced by the environment and by your lifestyle. Is truly the software, right? So, so you know, you have hardware, but actually, what you do with it is is the is that what's important. So, your lifestyle is incredible, uh, more than you know, much more than the genetics impact of how healthy you are, what you can do, how effective you are, and then we can get to the lifestyle factors, right? So, um, you know, everybody asks about. I mean, to me, one of the most impressive thing is how critical is exercise for for aging. Right, so this is the best drug ever anybody ever came up with, and there's 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 said we talked about it a little bit previously, but you know th- there are you have to kind of know what to do, which is not so simple, by the way. You have to understand the physiology of exercise and and what's right for you, by the way. Uh, but but it, like VO2 max, you know, there's no limit actually that that still helps, right? Most of the things in biology at a certain point is just not good for you. Well, it's not VO2 max. You know, your ability to actually uh, you know. Uh, um, um, utilize oxygen and it's easily measurable and so forth. So, so that's the one thing is the exercise, right? And again, I mean, we as a biological, uh, you know, entities, we were, you know, hundred years ago, right? We were just running all the time and moving and, and what we do now, right? It's just unhealthy for, for how we function right now. So it's number one. Number two, uh, diet, right? So I like uh, the simple way to look at it is uh, eat food, Real food, right? Not the not the processed and what have you. So real food, not much. Mostly plants, right? So these are the three things that you need to know about food, right? All the diets, right? What whatever you call the diet, are just wrong in something, right? You have to have a very diet. You know, the vegetarians have about double, you know, much higher risk for Alzheimer's, for instance. You know, again, I mean, you need protein, you know, to build the muscles. And by the way, you need to build the muscles while you can, right? You cannot, you, because you'll be losing the muscles actually once you get older. So unless you build it in your, up to, up to, up to age, you know, 40 or 50, you would just n- not function well. Uh, and I have several, you know, of my friends who actually work with us in Tolion who watch these patients who'd never get up. And, and it was actually inspiration for them because they were not, they were the nerds, right? They were the doctors and everything. So they started to exercise because they're like, look, you know, I need to actually build it. So this is the, the, the third thing, you know, to me, what been one of the biggest surprises is that if you look, so there are, there's a concept of blue zones. So there are places on the planet where people live longer and they are much healthier. They, they live, you know, every, you know, not everybody, but there are many people, you know, hundred years. There's been some controversy around uh, uh, those yeah, uh, yeah, blue zones. Maybe, I don't know the controversy, <laughs> but I mean, there are truly places like Okinawa, you know, Akira, Greece and so forth. Um, and people were thinking, okay, well, it must be in the food, you know, it must be um, the sunshine, they are all kind of in the warm climate. But the one thing that is most impactful, which to me has been actually, and it makes sense if you think about the humanity and, and people as, you know, us as people, is that the most impactful is the social, right? So in the world where, where we less and less interact as people, like we talking, right? I mean, you know, you have all these uh, technologies, iPhones and computers, you know, everything that actually... Glued to a screen. Yeah, yeah. And and you avoid human contact. But what we really actually, what, what makes us human is the social contact and what, what makes us he- health, healthy and happy, uh, you know, which kind of brings the other thing that, you know, y- your men- mental health is, is so important and optimism and what have you, is actually the people around you. So these three things, right? Think about it, right? And, and again, to me, the one surprise that the strongest factor for these healthy people is the fact that they have, you know, friends. And it's actually not just the families. It's interesting. It's actually peers and, you know, Strong these, social bond. So social bonds. 
and and again, think about it. You know, we have now generations that uh, grew up on phone, right? That actually, you know, literally, I've seen it. You know, uh, that the kids, you know, sit on the next to each other and they text each other, right? That, instead of just talking, right? You know, and but we need that social part of it, right? I, I don't think the machines are going to take over that soon, but we will actually miss that the ability to um, of the social interaction. And you mentioned VO two max, and uh, yeah, yeah. I I wonder what's the most efficient way to increase your VO2 max. Yeah, so we'll get in a lot experience. of details, right? So so this is where you really need to. So one part of the Tolion, what we want to do is to have these um you know um, nice places it can be nice chateau, you know, and uh, uh we're actually gonna have an all hands meeting in Chateau actually in a few days with the Tolion team. Uh or some nice place in the mountains where you kind of fine tune. I call it fine tuning centers. Because so you really need to tell the people what they have to do. And it's not so simple. It's not just attack the, you know, the pumping iron and what have you, right? That's not actually how you make it more sufficient. It's actually called level two exercise. You know, so there's a level of exercise that you can you can measure, you know, we can measure by uh, by um pulse and by by uh, so forth. That is that is the one that actually incre- improves your conditioning. The level five when you're like, you know, out of breath and what have you. It's called anaerobic, uh, you know, then it, it actually does not. And and there's a role for each of them, right? So there are this hit, you know, high intensity interval trainings and what have you. You know, there's different ways, but again, you know, the, the for the conditioning, it's surprising. Again, it's not the hardest working. It's actually if you do the hardest work, you know, you will burn out very quickly, you can hit hurt yourself, but you will not increase your your conditioning like VO2 max. Well, Zone two is probably the most boring workout it is, it out is. there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you go for a run, you know. You, you, you barely gotta, run. You barely run, exactly. Uh, at least exactly. in my case. I mean, I mean, I mean, when I learned about this, right, exactly. I was like, I'm like, I'm like lazy, right? I mean, this is like, I'm like flaking out. I mean, you know, this is not actually the exercise I was I used to. But it's actually the most effective that actually improves. And the interesting thing is if you have the top performing athlete, you know, doing the, the top, you know, whatever exercise, they are in level two. They got actually to level two. They're not doing it at a you know maximum output and what have you. These guys actually you know whatever even if it's sprint right they are level two. Like Tadej Pogacar mentioned that yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. most of his training is is, is zone two. But, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, his yeah. zone two is yeah. totally totally different than mine. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's exactly <laughs> right. You know, his, that's the difference. You, you would die if you tried to do actually his zone two, right? But for him, it's it's like the easiest thing. And again, you know, it's not intuitive the problem is that you know that's why you need something like tolion uh you know app that will tell you not only the way the right way to do it but what actually is 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 right for you and then what is the most impactful in you know now you know to really health is function right to actually be at your peak performance mental physical emotional everything uh, but also what's going to happen in 10 20 years and so forth uh, and how you can prevent the things that that go go wrong. What do you think about uh, for example the Norwegian 4x4 method which is kind of the opposite of training in zone 2? But... I, I don't know I don't know that I never heard that. But again I mean you know I, I think there's a again I I think there's a lot of things that um need to be adapted again to a person and again the problem is the doctor will not tell you you know there are these fats you know there are these you know you can go to some kind of fat diet or fat whatever it's not going to help you either because it's not actually gear to you and, and and unless you can you know kind of follow it and measure it right you, you just don't know whether you're doing the right thing anyway if you if you should name only one thing that is creating the biggest setback for the population to live longer what would it be i think it's the social interaction i really believe that it's not the diet it's not the exercise it's not even the sleep it's the fact that people are isolated you know people um people really just lost that ability to have that contact with each other because we're well protected against the accidents and you know kind of the usual things that actually can hurt you you know there there's a, there's a reasonable way actually to deal with it but i think the and that's kind of the worry with the technological you know world that we're entering um that we will more and more lose the the ability to 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 enjoy and and you know what really makes us human which is the biology which is the social interaction. 